Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am back, day two of our literal, literal? Of our little trick or treat series. I don't have a better title for it yet still. So um, it's not even Halloween, but that's okay. <laughs> you can still trick or treat other times of the year. Um, so today we're going to be talking about refilling your bobbin. So you're sewing along, inevitably your bobbin runs out in the middle of a seam. Oh, so annoying. It's like the worst, right? So there's a trick out there where you can refill your bobbin without unthreading your needle. I know, it seems too good to be true. So I am going to be giving it a go and seeing um, if I can make it work. I will say I am using a brother sewing machine. Some sewing machines, this is an automatic feature. It's covered in the um, owner's manual and it's like part of your machine. It's like one of the like features of your machine. My machine doesn't have that feature. So I don't know if this trick is going to work on all machines. We're just going to try it on my machine and then you can try it on your machine and see if it works for you. But let's see how it worked on my brother. Okay, so pulling the thread in front of the needle, we need to wrap it around the this little tension disc thing and then... Oh God, one, oops. And then wrap it around five times. One, two, three, four, five. Cut the thread like usual. And then you're supposed to just be able to wind it. Not winding. Why is that? Okay, there it goes. I think. Okay, so it worked, um, but what I wanted to see was how evenly it did it compared to, yeah, they look pretty much the exact same. I don't know if you guys can really even see. This is the one wound through the needle and this is the one wound regularly. So that is actually pretty cool. Um, like I said, I tried it before and it didn't work. So then you would just, and then you'd be back in business, like so. Um, okay, so I think that you just need to make sure you get it through the tension disc. And then mine took a minute to recognize, like, oh, she's trying to wind me. <laughs> so it took a minute to get going, but it did. And it, it did a really good job. I think if it's hooked in here good enough and it catches and creates that tension that it needs, then it will wind um, as beautifully as it would the other way. So. What do you know? I'm shocked. Honestly, I am seriously shocked that that worked. Um, can't wait to need to refill my bobbin again because I'm going to just pull that thread, keep on pulling right through that needle and refill the bobbin without taking my fabric out of the machine. It's going to be great. I am so excited. I tried that one. Um, and really it does seem like the bobbin wound just as tightly and evenly and perfectly as it does when you don't have it threaded through the needle already. I mean, who knew? Um, so again, like I said at the beginning, this is on a brother machine. Um, so I don't know if it works on all of them, but I encourage you all to try it and see if it works on other machines and then help everybody out and in the comments, let me know what machine you have and if it works for you or not. Fingers crossed, <laughs> it works as well for everybody as it did for me. And if you're one of those fancy pants people who have a machine who does it already, well, 
kudos for you. But for the rest of us, here's a little cheater trick that is a treat and I think it actually worked. So yay. Okay, so tomorrow's video, we are going to do an age old trick age old trick. I mean, you probably learned this in your very first sewing class or heard about it at least. Um, and that is a trick for um, measuring seam allowance and making sure you can keep that seam allowance through your entire seam line. Um, so I'm really excited to show you that one. Um, all of the links for this week's videos will be in the description box. And so if you want to access any of them in the series at the end of the week, you'll be able to go check the description box and you'll find the ones that you need there. So until tomorrow, I will see you all very soon. Bye.